we should point out we do now believe there were eight people from Lynn University, eight students rescued. Lynn Gagel joining us now this morning exclusively with his wife, Cheryl Ann, also Lynn's sister, Christine Seinwarren, jo joining us to talk about the search for Brittany there in Deerfield Beach, Florida this morning. Good morning to all of you and thank you again for taking some time with us because I know this is not easy for you to talk about. Uh, an emotional roller coaster would obviously be an understatement. Len, what's the latest that you're hearing this morning on the situation in Haiti? We're hearing there were workers uh, yesterday uh, working at the hotel that they uh, brought. Uh, they brought um, a couple of survivors out. Uh, we know exactly where our daughter is, thanks to her roommate, Lindsay. She is in the back right-hand corner of the hotel on the third floor, room number 300. And I'm, I'm asking, I'm, I'm begging President Obama, please, you inspired a nation, you inspired these young college students to volunteer and help the poor. And there's nothing more, more dignified than helping the poor. And, and these young girls that are trapped in that hotel and those two professors need to be found. And we need Americans. We need the, the paratroopers. We need people there. If we could do it, we'd go, but we can't go. And so, so we, we, need, we need you, President Obama, to get people to the Hotel Montana and get our daughter, all of our daughters home. Len, I know you're Please. also you're reaching out to the president, uh, not just as the president of the United States, but as a father, as, you, as you've said. Have you heard anything from the president uh, or from the White House, from anyone in Washington at this point? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. We just, we just really, really are in so much pain because we're helpless. We can't do anything. If we could do something, if we could fly down there, I own a construction company. I'd bring my equipment, whatever I had to do. We want our daughter. Cheryl Ann, you have, uh, I know, the support of, of a nation right now. So many people uh, want nothing more than good news for you, for your family, for the families of those other uh, students and folks uh, who are missing at this point in Haiti. How do, you, how do you keep going? This is day four. How do you keep that hope alive? Uh, we are very fortunate. We have a strong faith. Uh, we have each other. We have extended family. We have incredible friends. Um, our little town of Rutland, Mass, uh, last night had, a, had a, held a vigil for Brit, and from what I've heard, about 1,100 people showed up. Um, we are not giving up. Uh, we're from New England. We're strong. We believed in the Boston Red Sox. No one thought they could win. <laughs> we believe that Brittany will be coming home, and so we're strong people, and we, we just, we're going, and we're just going to keep going, and so uh, we'd like to thank everybody for all their prayers, for all their support. Yes. They have been wonderful and that's really our strength people mm -hmm. are just people that we met somewhere along the line in our lives are just sending us notes and emails and we can't thank them enough because we are reading every single one of them and, and putting it in our pocket and carrying it with us and um, so thank you and so they'll all be invited to the uh, celebratory party that we have when uh, Britt comes home. And everybody looking forward to that moment. Tell us a little bit more. We're seeing these pictures of your of your beautiful daughter on screen. We know that uh, Elaine, as you said, you know, she wanted to go and help the poor. She was on a mission trip there. Cheryl Ann, tell us a little bit more about your daughter, Brittany. What are some of the things we should know about her? Well, anyone that knows her knows she's fabulous. And um, that kind of sums it up. She's just an amazing girl. She touches you. Uh, when you meet her, you're in the circle, she grabs you, uh, she's honest, she's smart, she's nice, she's kind, she's everything a parent wants their child to be. And um, there aren't enough words to describe her. Um, she's my daughter, and um, I'm a little biased about her, but she's just <laughs> the best. And, um, and uh, when you meet, you'll, you can meet her when she comes home, and, and you can judge for yourself. We, we she's look a bright light, brighter than these lights here. She lights up a room. We look forward to that moment. Um, ha have you had the chance at all, Len, to speak with some of the students? We spoke with some of them earlier this morning. Have you spoken with any of the students yeah. who have returned? 
Yes, we just uh, saw Britt's roommate and best friend Lindsay outside prior to this, and we just held her and held her and held her. And uh, Tom, who was one of the leaders that really helped out getting those eight kids out, and we are so happy for those other eight parents. Mm -hmm. We are so happy for those kids, and we want them, to, you know, we want parents in this country to know, you know, this is this is your worst. This is our worst nightmare. We send our daughter to this school. And, and we believe she's safe, and we, we, we honor her wish to go help the poor, and, 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 and then to have this disaster, just, it's just numbing. We can't even describe how we feel. We have faith, we have hope, but time is of the essence, and this is, the, this is where we're at. It's day four, we need more people at the Hotel Montana. Please, uh, Secretary Clinton, President oh. Obama, please get more people there. And we, uh, we do hope that we have some good news for you coming from there very soon. Len Gangel, <sighs> Cheryl Len Gangel, Christine as well, thank you all for joining us this morning and, and for sharing a little bit more about Brittany. We appreciate it.